Hello everyone, it's Zork Rider here and welcome to another week in toys. Today is Monday the 18th, I think it is, of October. And I've started the week off with a parcel. Well, a bag. Um, now, I'm going to be very disappointed if this is what I think it is and this is how it's come. Um, but hopefully it would have survived the shipping. So this is an eBay purchase. Um, I ordered this late last week. Now, in fairness to him, he has, or he or she has, bubble wrapped this up. So, this is a figure I actually showed you on last week's Waking Toys, but he was missing a few pieces. Um, and it is another powerful combiner. Luffy and Brad will be happy about this. Uh, and uh, I forget his name, but we have, if you bear with me, This dude, I forget his name again. So last week I showed you this figure that I've got. And uh, he was obviously misses his arm. So I picked up a complete version of this figure, which is awesome. I really like the look of this. Now, is this looser? Mm, I, I think this one's a bit more beaten up, to be honest. So he's going to stay like that. I was toying with the idea of maybe replacing parts on him. Um, but yeah, another power cook. Is he Sledge? I want to call him Sledge. I don't know. His name might be wrong. But he's also got his little friend here. And I've probably paid a bit too much for this. I think I paid about £12 for this one. Considering I paid £12 for the other two. Um, it's a bit steep. I'm going to put a, put a hold on some of the power cores now. I think this, this is probably it for, for this month. No more power cores. Uh, Unless I can get some of the um, the drones for the limbs, um, because I've only got the one set that um, Brad gave me. That's awesome. So it's kind of like a, a drill. These these like little Target Master dudes are awesome. So yeah, yeah, I'm guessing they can hold the drill. Oh no, wrong way around. Hold the drill like in his hand, like there. There you go. So another little power core combiner dude to add to my new mini collection that I've picked up. I have to say, out of all of these, the thing that I love the most are the Target Masters, the little, uh, I think that's what they're called anyway, oh, I don't know what they're called, uh, but the, the Target Master dudes, these are pretty awesome. Let's see if I can work out how to transform this. Well, that was a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be, and yeah, I, I thought it would be more of a, a tractor, I suppose, rather than just a digger claw here and a circular saw, it's a bit of a... A monstrosity it's cool nevertheless um but i don't know is this based on a real vehicle i don't know um you've got your target master bloke here i mean you can fit him on there i'm guessing like like so um or even here so you can get like a drill going on it's a cool thing it's cool i really like these power core combiners they're a lot of fun one thing i will say about them though is they are showing their age they are really showing their age and they feel a little bit weak if i'm honest um I already said in last week's Week in Toys, I had a bit of a, a, a breakage here on lead foot um, and his arm is fixed. However, his, his elbow is so tight, I'm not going to even risk bending that. So he's lost a little bit of articulation there. But this is pretty cool. Um, I'm happy I picked him up. Probably a little bit too much for what I paid for him. But nevertheless, you know what? He's going to be fun to play about with this week. And I have got some more toys on the way. Hopefully there'll be two more toys arriving from Hasbro Pulse, Pulse, uh, Hasbro Pulse this week. Um, just ahead of PulseCon. So that would be pretty awesome if I get some other bits. So today's Wednesday the 20th of October. And I've got a parcel here. And it is from Hasbro Pulse. This one's been kicked about a bit. I was actually expecting this earlier in the week. but it Because generally what happens with my Hasbro Pulse orders... They come in a little bit sooner um, than what the shipping notification says. I think this was sent out on Sunday and it arrived today. So normally it's here within a day or so. Um, but yeah, this is a figure that uh, has only recently been announced or, or um, a release, shall we say. Um, but it's it's kind of a repack of, of an older figure. And he's a key character from the MCU. In fact, I think he's the... One of the main missing pieces from my MCU shelf over there. Uh, there's lots of these packing pillows in there, but we can have a look now at Doctor 
strange. Um, this is from uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, apparently. Um, so it's random to, to get this figure so soon. But essentially, he is in his... I suppose his endgame get-up, isn't he? He, he? he looks exactly how Doctor Strange should. I really wanted a Doctor Strange uh, from my shelf. Um, which I'll, I'll show you a picture of now, actually. Um, and yeah, I, I'm happy to have him. This comes from a a bit of an odd wave. So it comes from, looks like, okay, I'll show you this. So it looks like we've got a Spider-Man here. And then we've got a black suit Spider-Man. We've got Doctor Strange. And we've got, um, who's that? Jonah Jameson. Um, so the guy from the uh, newspaper, I forget what he's called. Um... So yeah, there's a figure of him coming out. And then there's some uh, Miles Morales, I think, by the look of it. Yeah, from uh, the computer game. And then we've got a couple of comic book characters. So it's a bit of a, a mixed wave. And then the builder figure, he's a comic book character. Um, I, I'm, I've got no, no real interest in building the builder figure. So the good thing about this is it costs 21 quid. And I can get a bit of money back by selling this little bad boy on eBay, which would be awesome. Um, so we got a couple of quid back there. But yeah, so Doctor Strange, am I in for any more of these? Um, I might get one of the Spider-Man, maybe, if I see it in a shop. But I'm not going to go out all in on them. One thing I am interested in getting is the Marvel What If Wave. I'm, I'm, after watching that show, I'm really, really excited about um, picking up a few of those. Especially the, uh, the Doctor Strange in that, which was really cool. And also the... Um, the zombie Captain America. So that was what we called called the pick up. But yeah, I've got myself saving Strange here. Shall we open him up and have a look and see what he's like? Well, I'm actually really surprised about how much stuff you actually get in this figure. It's not apparent from the um, from the actual box, but you do get uh, the, I think it's Armadillo head I mentioned before. Uh, that's something I won't be keeping. I will be moving on. But uh, yeah, cool little design to be honest. I, I like builder figures. Uh, it's just a shame I haven't got many of them in my collection. I've got... Uh, a Thanos one, and I've got a Hulk, and I've got an, a giant man, and that's it. Uh, here is Stephen Strange himself. So he comes with, obviously, the time stone around his neck. And I think that's a pretty decent likeness, don't you? He also comes with his cape, which is here. And it looks like this, this is quite cool. So he's got a little peg in there. So what you can do is roll this over his shoulders. Get that in his arm. Hold on. Bit of fiddly, but we'll get there. There we are. So yeah, now that looks that looks cool, doesn't it? That looks really cool. Uh, now he does come, obviously, with his kind of conjuring hands, shall we call them that? Um, but he does come with a set of like, almost trigger finger hands. I don't know if you can see those there. But yeah, they're almost trigger finger. Um, maybe they're just. Maybe they could be used as a trigger. I think that one definitely looks like a trigger finger hand. But I don't think Doctor Strange actually uses a gun. Um, and these swivel um, left to right rather than up and down. These hands also. This one left to right. This one left to right. Uh, but you also get these two effects pieces. And these effects pieces are actually attached um, to another set of hands. Uh, and these ones are up and down hands. So should we try and put one of those on and see what they look like? So you can have that look going on. I think that's awesome. I think this is this is a brilliant, brilliant figure. I I think this looks great. A really, really great. I like Doctor Strange. I think he's he's one of the characters that really grew on me, and I love the movie. And he really was a missing part of my MCU uh, MCU shelf. I think yeah, obviously. Cap and, and Iron Man and Thor, they're the big three. Then you add in Hulk and Spider-Man and, and then Black Panther and all of that kind of stuff. But I think outside the big three, I think Doctor Strange in, in, in the Infinity Saga, uh, especially in the last two films, was such a key part. Um, and I love that Doctor Strange film. So, you know what? I'm really, really happy to have this. This is an awesome, awesome pickup, And it's really, really surprised me how good it actually looks. Um, I was expecting it to look okay um, because I, th I think this is essentially, as I say, a, re a reissue of a, of a previous figure that was out um, for the Doctor Strange movie. It might have been from Infinity War. Um, but it's brilliant. It's, it's brilliant and I really, really love the look of it. So yeah, what a cool little figure. Really, really happy with it. Um, 
really happy to have uh, to be picking up some nice MCU figures as well and, and and even though I'm not fully in getting all the background characters anymore you know what it's awesome to be able to get some some of the key characters on the shelf and Doctor Strange was definitely a missing part so yeah so I've picked up Stephen Strange so today is Saturday the 23rd of October and PulseCon has been and gone uh, I've missed the second day's worth of live streams but I watched a load of uh, yesterday's streams and you know what how nice was it for to allow hasbro to to actually announce and release some figures in their own way without how should we say it, other people acquiring those figures in advance of hasbro's release dates and i think it was absolutely great and hopefully moving forward uh, Hasbro have managed to put a, a stop on the supply chain to those YouTubers who, who basically ruin ruined the conventions. And I think it was great that this year it was not ruined. Um, so I'll just give you a quick view of the Transformers and, and what I think. Uh, and what I think about them. I think overall, like, it looks great. Um, uh, yes, I did that joke. Um, that joke video the other day about about bulkhead and i think there is a hell of a lot of nonsense going on about that and there's some other nonsense being spoke about about the drake strip and the the menace or which i'll touch on in a moment um but I'll, I'll quickly walk through the figure so so um bulkhead i think he looks okay i i don't mind the design uh, i think that the 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 showing of the figure rather than the renders actually in hand on on the live stream actually look better proportions um i think it looks quite good i think it looks okay um, he's, he's not the most exciting figure in the wave, but you know what? It's it's a new bulkhead, and I, I I think that's good anyway. People have been saying for ages they want to have different characters, not the same characters. So that's Hasbro have done that now. They've listened and they've given us another bulkhead. Whether you like this design or not, that's not a character that we have quite regularly. So I think he looks good. Uh, Skids was announced obviously a few days in advance as a little bit of a teaser for Legacy. I think he looks fine. I think he's exactly what we need from a Skids. Yes, some little hollowness on the inside of the legs, but it doesn't really bother me at the end of the day because the, the mini masterpiece Datsuns weren't all that anyway. There was a lot of hollowness there. They look amazing on the shelf and pose really well, but they did have a lot of hollowness. So, I mean, there's no difference there from Skids. Um, uh, to, to the Datsuns in my opinion I think he looks great and it'll be great to have a, a Skids on the shelf absolutely in for Skids um, then we got to the, the newer reveal shall we say um, and a couple of deluxes um, so Kickback really excited about Kickback I think that the le the Legends um, in Centre Cons we had were okay but they're a little bit dated and I think Kickback looks great yeah the energy on weapons are a little bit of a gimmick but you can always remove them put them to one side love the fact it's it's a little bit more toy accurate than cartoon and I'm normally more cartoon accurate but there's something about that clear plastic that makes an Insecticon um, and there probably will be a redeco of cartoon ones anyway but it's going to be an army builder so and that's all fine anyway um, but yeah kickback I think looks great probably one of my highlights of the, of the announcements um, probably in the top three another one in the top three is drag strip now what I will say is I really really like this figure but it's not too accurate. I had a few people saying, "Oh, it looks too cartoon accurate," uh, and I don't like. I don't know why people like cartoon accurate stuff. It's not when you look at the animation model. He doesn't have the shoulder pads and and those type of things. Um, I think it is slightly stylized, but I like it. I, I do like it, and I think it's probably the best version of Drag Strip we we've had. And maybe Hasbro are going to come around and give us a little bit more of a toy aesthetic on this one. Maybe moving forward, who knows? They might repaint in G two again, which they normally tend to do with combiners. But they they'll get the use out of this mold, don't you worry? And a lot of the talk has been about how. Motormaster, potentially the trailer will be Menosaur's body. And what I say is that if it works, it works, right? Um, I've got Menosaur behind me from Compiler Wars and he can't hold together for, for anything. Um, he's a waste of space. Uh, I've managed to get him in a pose and I'm, I'm scared to touch him on the shelf. Um, and if it gives us a little bit more stability, then, then I'm in for it. Yes, it would be nice if the arms transform, but it is cartoon accurate. And at the end of the day, if the trailer's transforming into most of the arm, does it really matter anyway? It's still a transformer. Um, but, 
you know what, um, I, I'm up for that. And I think Drag Street looks great. And I can't wait to see the rest of the team. And I also like what they're doing about releasing one and wave. Because uh, generally what happens with combiners, as soon as you've got them all together, you'll stick them in combined mode and you never look at the individual bots again. At least this time around, it's going to be the best part of six months to a year before we get the whole team together. And it'd be nice to enjoy each individual bot, which would be awesome. Um, then there was Prime RC. Um, yeah, okay. It's it's okay. It's 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 a nice fembot. Um I think in my opinion the bulkhead looks better. Um I think but it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's RC from Prime. Uh, yes the face sculpt's a little bit different, but they're going for this generation look. Um so they all look similar aesthetics on the shelf and I think that works. I think it's great. Um uh, and I, I probably am going to be picking up all of these from these this wave, um, but uh, obviously the G one ones will be the the top priority for me. Being a bit of a G one, your kickback, your 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 drag strip, and also your skids. But also high up on my list, absolutely high up on my list is Laser Prime. I love G two. I probably even love G two more than G one, uh, and to have Laser Prime, uh, G two Optimus Prime, amazing. Uh, I I really can't wait to. To get my hands on that, and it and it seems like this is only a partial wave reveal. There's no core class that's been uh, announced yet, um, so we'll see. But it looks like the predictions are coming true, which will be awesome. Uh, there was some other core stuff revealed, loads of Star Wars stuff, um, which looks great. I'm I'm on the verge of tapping out a little bit on Star Wars. I know I've said I'm all in on the Mandalorian, and I'm all in on Empire Strikes Back, but the prices are going too high now. Uh, and the Carl Van thought, oh, I can't even say his name on, but the dude who had Boba Fett's armour, that figure is not a deluxe. It is not £34 worth of figure. Um, and the standard figures are now 25 quid, And it, it it's getting a little bit too much. I can deal with it with Transformers. And Brad said it's almost like two toys in one because you've got the transformation and all that. And I get it. Um, but it, it's starting to, to price me out a little bit. But yeah, loads of Star Wars stuff. Obviously the Rancor looks really cool. Um... Then, uh, today there's been some G.I. Joe announcements. They all look really awesome. The bat looks really cool. Uh, none of them that I, I, I need to get. Will I get some of them? Probably. But it's going to be nice to just go, oh, that's in stock. I'll pick up that. Or I'll go into a shop. Oh, you know what? I like the look of that. I'll pick that up. Um, so I'm not going to be pre-ordering. I haven't actually pre-ordered any of the new mainline figures. I'll get onto the exclusives in a minute. Uh, and... and Dave pinged me while I was out and he sent me a, a message showing me that they're doing some uh, original G.I. Joes with the O-Rings again. So that's cool to say. Um, I did buy a couple of things. Uh, two things that I wasn't really going to purchase, but I bought them anyway. Uh, so I, 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 I bought, and it should be posted because it says it's in stock, the, the Agent Ravage set. Uh, I thought it was a bit much, to be honest, but... Um, I saw it there, it was in stock, and the Melman took me and I ordered it. And It does look a cool figure, and I do like that Beast Wars episode, and it is technically G1 Ravage, um, just in later life, as a, as, as a, as a Predacon. And you also get the, the G1 Ravage as well, with the little cassette, which would be cool, the box looks cool. So, yeah, I've got a bit of a, a Beast Wars shelf, and uh, I'm... I'm I'm not going to be getting rid of that. Um, I I I do like having that representation. It'd be nice to have one little shelf for each of the lines, wouldn't it? Um, and uh, the final thing, there's been some some Marvel figures uh, announced. The X Men figures from the cartoon look really cool. Might pick up Wolverine. Um, maybe Cyclops if they eventually do that. I think they're from Jubilee and and uh, Wolverine at the moment. There's also going to be a Winter Soldier, Bucky figure, which I probably will pick up from the MCU shelf. Would be good to have a winter soldier on there. Would be good to have a falcon on there. Actually, I, I've been looking up there, and I have got a falcon figure, but he's missing his wings, and it's a slightly old one. But maybe I do need to look at getting a falcon at some point. Um, and that is basically Paul's Um, oh, I tell a lie. I ordered Agent Ravage, um, and I also pre-ordered that that clear purple Galvatron. And the reason why I did it is that it is from the eighty six movie, and it is a bit niche. I do wish I got the toy accurate Galvatron, um, but. Never mind that. That might be one of the things that, that you pick up at, at TFN if there's one about uh, and all that kind of stuff. Maybe or a convention in the future when you fall on it. But I pre-ordered that one simply because I was expecting the price to be about ninety quid, 
eighty or ninety quid, and when it was fifty six ninety nine with the the little ships and the little figures, it felt a little bit of a, a no brainer. And it looked cool anyway. I can add it to almost like well, of course I've got the Dead Optimus Prime, um, the the Sleep Mode Optimus Prime from Earthrise. Uh, it kind of will work with that in a way because it's kind of a stylized couple of seconds on the screen piece. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool anyway. And uh, yeah, and uh, believe it or not, I got a parcel today. I got a parcel from Hasbro Pulse, and uh, this is the first pre-order from there that's come through in a while. And it's a figure I, I am excited to get because it kind of well, once Age of Ravage comes. This completes a shelf with figures that are out at the moment. Um, yeah. We're still waiting for, for Slammer and for Pipes, of course, which are, are two figures that I want to get from a G1 point of view. But I managed to get Wasp in there. Um, he's toy now. He looks very tiny, but he looks very good. I never got the Generations one. And I remember seeing the Generation ones, thinking how good it looked. Um, but this this looks great. This looks great. A little small, but it will scale with the rest of the figures. It's good to have another Predacon. Um, it's a shame that we never got Tarantulas, but I believe he might be coming in Legacy next year, and that that will that will round off that set. Oh, and Tiger Tigertron as well. Um, Tigertron is meant to be out soon. I've got him pre-ordered from Comics and Cocktails, so so fingers crossed I'll be able to get a Tigertron as well to to add to that. That beastly shelf, um, which is which is looking pretty full now. Um, but yeah, I picked up Wasp and I, I probably my favourite Beast Wars character. He's a lot of people's favourite Beast Wars character. He is great. He looks great. Um, I'm really excited to to get him opened up, and it's nice to to get a newer a newer Transformer figure again. It's been a pretty decent week. Um, I've managed to pick up a couple of things. Um, I absolutely love that Doctor Strange thing. I think it, it's going to be in my top ten figures of the year. Um, it, it's it's outstanding. It's really really good. Um, to obviously pick up this guy as well, and uh, I believe this Power Core Combiner guy as well. So it's been a pretty pretty decent week. Not an epic week, um, but a decent week. And there, there there probably is a few more toys to come. As I say, Agent Ravage should be on the way sooner rather than later. Um, and of course, um, well, uh, me and my son are going to take a little little day out on Wednesday. We're going to go to the cinema because uh, it's half term. I've got the day off work, um, so I might have a look round in there and see it as as it's payday. I actually get paid twice this month uh, from the old job and the new. I might treat myself to to something uh, from from good old Smiths, but we shall see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week in toys. Until next time, I've been Zork Rider, and I'll catch you again really, really soon.